All new this morning, chronic chest pain impacts millions of Americans every year. As Channel 5's Naomi De Lucia explains, doctors are looking to raise awareness on one of the leading causes of this condition. 40,000 people each year will suffer from this rarely diagnosed disease, but many people don't know it exists. We know that roughly 5% of non-ischemic chest pain is pericarditis. But... It's only 0.1% of admissions uh, to the hospital uh, with pericarditis. Pericarditis is the inflammation of the sac that surrounds the heart, which causes sharp chest pain and in some cases, difficulty breathing. But sometimes it keeps coming back. So the biggest cause of what we call recurrent pericarditis is under treatment of the acute episode. There were no guidelines to treat pericarditis in the U.S. until now. Dr. Alan Klein worked with 22 experts all over the world to publish a consensus. And this um, allows us in one place to have um, recommendations from all these experts, how you diagnose it and how you treat this. The statement details how to utilize different types of imaging and diagnosis and what to look for if there is improvement. There is hope uh, with the proper um, diagnostic testing, with the proper uh, therapeutics, uh, people uh, will get better. If you're being treated for pericarditis, discuss with your doctor if you need to stop exercising. Dr. Klein says people with pericarditis need to keep their heart rate below 100 BPM. However, there are some treatments such as IL-1 blockers that can allow exercise after just a month. With your medical breakthroughs, Naomi De Lucia, Channel 5 News.